another first impressions for you guys while I am here in Korea. I went and picked up this, which is from Medicube. This is their red cushion. And I picked mine up in shade number 23, Natural Beige. They have pretty viral marketing, I would say. They demonstrate this as a high coverage cushion foundation, not only on people who have acne prone skin, but they also demonstrate it on a quail egg. So they show the quail egg all speckled and then this covers it all up. So because of that, we assume, and it advertises this as, a high coverage cushion foundation that is safe for acne prone skin. I know you can order this online. I'm having struggling trying to get this thing open. I know you can order this online. I've seen it on Amazon. I've seen it on their website. So you could definitely do that. But since I was here in Korea, I wanted to pick it up in person. Where I found this was actually at LOHB or Loves or Lobes. Love, love. Health and Beauty, Love of Health and Beauty, I believe it stands for. So it's kind of like a Olive Young Watson's type of store here in Korea. But it was also, I had to ask the sales associate when I was in the store where it was, because it's in a very like discreet area. It's actually among the skincare where I found mine. It wasn't actually in the makeup section. So, all right. Ugh. So it's like this. <laughs> it has like one of these mochi type of cushions. So as you press the cushion it goes in and picks up some of the foundation so I guess we're gonna go from there I'm gonna try to apply this kind of lightly cuz I have a feeling this is gonna be kind of thick their marketing actually kind of reminded me of April skin and we all know how I feel about April skin so this doesn't have too much of a of a scent that I'm really picking up if anything it kind of has that like herbally type of tea tree scent but nothing too intense are crazy and as I do with all first impressions I'm not going to set this with a powder I'm not going to use a concealer I'm not going to use a primer or anything like that I like to see how these wear on their own I do have a little bit of sunscreen on underneath which is the Innisfree Eco Daily Sunblock I believe it's called so just a little light layer of sunscreen for skin protection coverage is definitely high on this So I feel like I got kind of a light layer on my skin. You can even see the coverage difference from here to here. But I'm also gonna go ahead and get closer to the window so you guys can kind of see what it looks like in brighter natural light. I am in natural light right now, but I have some distance between me and the window, so I'll get closer so maybe you can get a better idea of what this looks okay, so like. This is my skin, and on this side is the foundation. So you guys can see, so you can see it's super high coverage. So like I said, these cushions are kind of difficult to find because they sell them at LOHBs or Lobes or whatever it's pronounced or however it's pronounced um, because Lobes are not as common as, let's say, Olive Young's or even Watson's. So I went to the one in Insidong. I think it's called the Avenue of Youth or something like that. It's right off of that. But it was like way back in the corner and there was only one left and it just happened to be shade 23. So thank goodness because I was not trying to like run all around for this guy. So this is really easy to blend in, which is nice. It feels super lightweight, which thank goodness, because like I said, I was nervous that this is gonna be like April skin. When cushions are advertised as like high coverage cushion foundations, they're usually way too heavy feeling for me. I hate the makeup feel of makeup. I like lightweight foundations, so usually I don't go for the really makeup-y type of products. Also, keep in mind, I didn't mention this earlier, I probably should have, this is quite an expensive cushion foundation. It was 33,000 won, which is about 30 to 32 bucks US. And this was on sale. So I think it's actually like closer to $42 normally. So it's pretty dang expensive cushion foundation considering. I like the look of it. I wish it were a little bit darker obviously because it's a little bit too light for my skin. Maybe it'll oxidize a little bit and match better. Appears to be sitting pretty good on my skin, so. I'm excited to see how this wears throughout the day because it does have that do, so sometimes that kind of affects the wear. Hey guys, so it has been about seven hours that I've had the Medicube Cushion Foundation on my skin. And so far I have to say I am pretty dang impressed. Now I have to say the main thing that I'm really impressed about with this foundation is its adherence. So I feel like even though this has a bit of a glow and a dew, which you can see on my skin, I feel like this adhered really well to my skin. So I didn't feel like it was budging around 
or moving or slippery or wet feeling. It doesn't feel heavy, so that's something that I really like about this cushion foundation. Also, I feel like the coverage is still really nice. Like I feel like a lot of the spots that I want to be covered are still covered. I feel like it's lasting a really long time, considering at the seven hour mark, that's pretty much the bulk of the wear. I'll probably check in with you guys again in a couple hours. The lighting will be a little bit dark because the sun's already going down at this point. But I feel like considering seven hours is a pretty decent amount of wear, this cushion foundation still looks really nice. I will check in with you guys in a couple hours just to show you guys what it looks like. But this is what it looks like pretty much seven hours in, almost a full day's wear, and I'm super happy with this. So let me go ahead and jump into the close-ups for you guys. It is 7 p.m. so I have definitely worn this for a full day about 9 to 10 hours so I'm gonna share with you guys my final impressions of the Medicube red cushion I have to say that overall I'm super happy with this cushion foundation I was a little hesitant I think you guys could probably tell in the beginning of this video because I felt like the marketing was like April skin and when I hear high coverage foundation and I see that type of marketing I just feel like it's gonna be heavy it's gonna feel cakey it's gonna be sticky and this one actually wasn't like that at all. So it's actually fairly lightweight. I like the finish of this. I have to say it looked really dewy when I applied it. However, after a couple hours, it kind of settled down. Didn't look as dewy. It almost kind of had like a, I wouldn't say powdery texture, but a more matte, semi-matte finish in some areas. So that was really nice. My dry skin was really comfortable underneath it. I didn't feel like it dried out any particular areas of my face. And the only areas that I really saw cling to was like under my eye area, around my mouth, kind of on my smile lines, and basically just anywhere where my face creases throughout the day. So that's to be expected when you don't set these with a powder. I would say that when it dries down, it does have a little bit of a, um, I wouldn't even say a stickiness to it, but I can definitely, if I if I place my finger on my skin, I can still feel the foundation on my skin. It's not as sticky or tacky as other cushion foundations. On like a scale of tackiness, I would say it's about a three out of five, five being super tacky, one being completely dry, so it's kind of in the middle there. And so, yeah. Overall, I think this was definitely worth the 33,000 won on sale. I'm usually a lot more critical too when it comes to more expensive cushion foundations and I kind of consider this a little bit pricier considering this is normally like, I believe 42,000 won. So yeah, I think this was worth the 33,000 won that I paid. So I will leave links down in the description box below where you can pick this up in case you're interested and I will include the close ups now. this first impressions let me know if you guys are interested in picking up the MediQ if you tried it yourself what your thoughts are on it and any other cushion foundations or any makeup products in general you'd like me to do a first impressions on as always I hope you guys are happy and healthy and don't forget to read comment subscribe share with your friends and family and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys